Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So today we're going to talk about uh, this thing in probability called possibility diagram. So uh, I'm going to explain exactly what it does. So uh, in a probability question, uh, we often need to know what are all the possible outcomes, right? So you can see that uh, in this context, we have uh, two dice, we roll the two dice, and then uh, we're going to add the number together of the two dice. So um, you will see that uh, in our possibility diagram here, you can see that uh, I have one labeled one to six. This is uh, the first die. And then I have a second die here. In this case, it's also one to six because it happens to be a dice also, right? So these are the so-called possible uh, numbers for each dice. And then you see that um, they ask for you to find the sum of the numbers that's shown. So for example, if I the first die uh, it shows one, the second die also show one so the sum is two right? so what i do is i take these two number plus together so i give you another example if uh, let's say the first die is five the second die is two then the sum is seven right so like that so basically uh, everything here these 36 numbers over here uh, represents the total possible outcomes that is in this uh, context okay so with this it becomes very easy to answer the question so you can see what happens is uh, when we say uh, the, the probability that the sum is equal to five what i simply do is i come here and i just figure out out of the 36 possibilities how many are five so in this case it's here one two three four there are four cases that it can be five that's why the probability is 4 out of a total possible 36 and of course you reduce the lowest term 1 over 9 and, and another thing you notice is um, you notice there's a small dot at the corner for all the 5 um, I, I did this to label as I count so it's easier so I don't forget how many are there so I literally look for 5 I put a dot 5 put a dot 5 put a dot then eventually I count how many dots are there Okay, because we're going to use this uh, diagram many many times so you can see the next part of the question is say um, the sum that are even so same thing you notice i put a, a right hand corner dot here for all the numbers they are even so like two four six or even right then four six eight and so on and after that i'm going to count how many of these dots did i draw so one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there are 18 of these dots. That's why uh, the answer is 18 out of a total possible 36. And then of course you reduce to half. So that's what the possibility diagram does for you. It lists out all the possible cases. Then from there you can count all the probability very easily. So when do we use this? Uh, generally we use it when it's independent. That means uh, in this case the two dice no matter what the first dice uh, is the number, uh, it won't affect the second dice. That's why it's independent. And then uh, you notice that the die has uh, unique outcomes. That means the die has 1 to 6, right? There's no dice where it's like, it's like 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know, there's no repeated number there. So in these special cases, uh, when the conditions are met, you, know, you can usually use the possibility diagram uh, to answer all the questions. So hope you've learned something. Thank you and bye-bye.